peeps, welcome again to channel 48. In this video, I'm gonna show you Android 13 release yesterday uh, for the T820 as well the T825. I have the T820 and the install procedure is something else, okay? It will nothing be like the normal install procedure because, um, yeah, in fact, if you install see a droid for instance 12 on this tablet it will encrypt the drive in some way eh? you you will have to first do a formatting of the data before you can actually flash flash the rom so <laughs> i went playing a bit with it and i discovered in fact two ways how you can do it um somebody said uh lineage os 19 um, if you gonna install it on top of that, you first install Lineage OS 19 and then you reboot back into recovery and then flash the 20 on top of it without doing a wipe or with or without doing a wipe. You can go read, link will be in the description. Um, however, I'm gonna do it in a different way. I'm, I'm in this video as well gonna show you uh, the remake of the C Android from C Android to Lineage OS Ivory. 12 for as well this tablet so you we're gonna boot it up we're first gonna install it and boot it up and after that you're gonna see the most craziest install ever and in this video red lines saying error data mount uh, could not this and that that these are your friends in this video well i mean during this install and and as you're gonna see in this video So prepare yourself to see the most crazy install uh, of Android 13 on this device and in no other way it will work. Okay, so um, assuming you just install Twerp, etc. You know, um, assuming you had the tablet uh, running on the official, you install Twerp by Ashix. In my case, uh, I installed the build 321 dash one i know it's a little bit old but it, it works fine you know so i'm good with it um so i i just gonna do a format of the data boom see that could not mount blah 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 and we're gonna reboot back into recovery not installing so um i was thinking about the installation and i thought that i could show you a more nicer way how to install uh, or upgrade to Android 13, but I could not. So this will be a crazy install, okay? Uh, what we first gonna install, we select from our external storage. You must copy the file to your external storage. You must first install C Android. In this case, I'm gonna install my Ivory build. This is C Android 12. I remade it to Linux OS Ivory. And Ivory comes with the white uh, Linux OS boot animation. It comes with Aurora Store built in. It comes with the AI uh, bookmaker. It comes with, uh, yeah, a radio, world radio, so you can listen to the radio. So that's it. In fact, it's, uh, it's just a vanilla ROM that has the luxury to get to the applications it needs thanks to aurora okay and in fact this room i just created for myself to see how it worked with my applications with my concepts if it all worked good and it all works good eh? this, this is a very very nice room uh, the c android very very lovely room very well uh, working here so yeah, now I'm just gonna do a reboot back to the system, not installing Twerp. So you're gonna see Ivory booting up. I must boot it up first um, because it must go and do the important things it needs to do to make Linux OS 20 work. One, two, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Twenty-four cycles and then you will arrive. You see that? Here you must swipe up like this. You put your fingers on the white tab. If you're gonna swipe up from here, you're gonna be like, what to do? I cannot do like this, you see? And then you can hit start. Next, next. Skip, next. Next, skip, 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 and then start, boom, and there we are, see a droid, yeah, 12, so now, this is about Android 13, so we're gonna restart, back into recovery. So in this, in this uh, tutorial, you will learn that red lines does not matter. And you're gonna learn that an upgrade, as we always teach you, does not necessarily need a wipe at all. Because now, at this point, we're just going to select our storage after a reboot. Eh? You cannot just install and then reboot back, because then the things are not done yet that should be done. So we go back to our SD card, and now we're going to install Lineage OS 20. As you can see, we get a whole lot of red lines, but we see that the installing is happening. Could not mount data and unable to find crypto footer. Failed to mount data in valid argument. <laughs> uh, unable to recreate data media folder. Update and partition details. Failed to mount data in valid argument. Uh, unable to mount storage. Uh, failed to mount data in valid argument. Uh, unable to mount data media twerp twerp s. MTP enabled. Installing file. <laughs> so we are installing with all these red lines. Um, we don't look at them. We just ignore them. Because today they are our friend. Okay. Today these red lines are our friend. And at the end it's going to say. Uh, fail to mount data in valid arguments. So everybody would say after an installation like this, that, you know, the bloody thing just failed. But nothing more is true, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. I'm going to put the tablet there for you. Not touching my buttons. Just now my screen turned around. I was <laughs> like, what the crap is happening? Uh, so now, uh, we're just going to wait. Normally, no ROM would boot up. But this ROM, ladies and gentlemen, that's a different thing. Because now it's going to boot up. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And 15, and we arrived. Welcome to Android 13. Installed successfully on, yeah, on the tablet. I had to, yeah, do some installings to figure it all out. I didn't want to show you uh, that all that I did to, you know, uh, to get this thing uh, installed. But as you can see, we just installed Android 13. It has a different uh, menu here. You can see use the taskbar and so. 
it's gonna teach you certain things you can say okay that's fine and here you're gonna see that this is ladies and gentlemen android 13 at your fingertips again this is the very first built worldwide for this device and that is with thanks to awesomeness and even though the installing procedure is kind of crazy okay it uh it can be done and if you really really want to install android 13 you can uh, thanks to yeah <clears throat> this uh special install procedure that i showed you so yeah what is working well um i think camera should work you see that camera works hello how are you doing we can make a nice little picture uh, like this you can put it on video how to do like this video one two three four five and it's as well making it well i don't have no complaints about that peeps uh, it's the same man that you see for real so uh yeah it it works it works um not sure of uh the phone model the i think that's the 25 model i'm not sure if this procedure will work as well um this install procedure but i i ha i have a idea why it's not uh effect booting to uh, to the desktop so i'm gonna um, i'm gonna do a little surgery on on on, on this rom and see if I can uh, fix uh, fix that part and see if we then can do a normal install. But in fact, I want to leave it up to the developer. But I like to invest these things as well because, as you could see, this was the most craziest install procedure. You know, data not mounted, uh, all these red lines. I mean, like normally, if you install a ROM like that, uh, it's failure. It, it's boot loop, and and I don't know what you all can, you know, you you all gonna see there on on your thing. Um, yeah, I love it. It looks beautiful. It looks really nice, one of a kind. I never saw this very nice launcher. It, it, it looks different. Probably it only works on 13. Lovely, beautiful. So what it all can do and how it all works. Uh, that you may go test yourself, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but this is it. What I would do if I was you, uh, you know, I would as well download the Aurora store. So you at least have some access uh, to applications, you know. Because, uh, yeah, what is a tablet without applications? You don't have to install gaps necessarily. Just install the Aurora store and you'll be, you know, very good to go. You will be very good to go. I must still connect to the internet. Um, I will not. Uh, internet works. I already tested that in my previous uh, surgeries that I did on this device. Just a matter of waiting and then you can connect uh, to the Wi-Fi. It all works good. So uh, this is how to install Lineage OS 20 on to the T820. Maybe it works for the T825, but I think it's going to work on the T825 as well. The same way, including the red lines that you saw. Uh, these are your friends in this uh, installation, peeps. Normally, we don't want to see them, these red lines. But today, yeah, as you could see, they lead it to a successful install. That while the normal procedure that we need to follow, um, yeah, it did not work. It did not work. Danos y caballeros, no trabajo, hmm? no trabajo, so there we go, this was some adventure eh, with this, uh, with this room, but it, uh, it works, so awesomeness, uh, thank you, I will uh, test out the room, I will give it a little surgery, because I want to see if by uh, replacing that what you remove, uh, yeah, this room will successfully boot, I, I think you know what I'm talking about, so, um, Good luck with uh, the next build. This is the alpha build. I think, yeah, alpha. 
alpha sound so in fact yeah maybe the style procedure uh, yeah shows that uh, it's still in the alpha stage certain things must still be fixed but for the rest what i saw is just as good as uh, any other room uh, that i run on on the device everything at least for me is working wi-fi sound uh, touch my store my my things they work so yeah for me it's uh, a fine rom um alpha or no alpha uh, it's running on my t820 and i think after a little uh, surgery uh, it will be having a normal install procedure without uh, the red lines that you saw but this was it um yeah thank you uh, everybody that worked on this uh, Linux OS as well. Thank you. I like it. The launcher. It really looks one of a kind. Why don't we have it on 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 our phones? I like it. That 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 the flap that you you know like you still see the desktop and you put it looks it looks very stylish. So hey, <laughs> I'm getting a bad idea. Here. <laughs> I'm getting an idea. Here. Oh my goodness. I'm getting an idea. So, peeps, uh, I want to thank you for watching. If you like this video, of course, you must leave this video uh, a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you did not already. Uh, be wise uh, when you click the notification bell. Because sometimes I upload three videos per day. But most of the times I keep it one, two, three per week. So, yeah, it's up to you if you click the notification bell. But you're always welcome to uh, be part of my little YouTube family. We're reaching 50,000. I'm wondering who's gonna be the 50th subscriber here at my channel. I am thinking of doing something on that day. Maybe I'll come live or so and play a little bit of music, have a little party, you know? Yeah. We should do more of these kinds of things on this channel. Otherwise, it's, I mean, like Android people as well make party, right? Or are you all, as they think of us, boring people? No, right? You are not boring people. You are young people. I see the people that are following my channel. These are, yeah, people that love partying and have fun, right? So we do, we must do more of these kinds of things uh, here on this channel because it's becoming winter and everybody's going to stay home again. And then at home, we should have our things going on. Right, peeps? So we don't have to look for it on the street and maybe never come home again. I want to wish you a pleasant Saturday. Have lots of fun with your family. And if you're alone, as well with yourself.